Uh, been oh a yeah, it's been a while. It has been a while. All right. What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to Super Retro, a nostalgic podcast about retro gaming, TV, and film, nostalgia, anything from the 80s and 90s that gives you that warm and fuzzy feeling, uh, pop culture, music, everything, man. We're here to cover everything. We want to uh, welcome you to the show. I'm Tuck. That's the homie Will. It's good to be back, man. It's yeah, it good is. to be back. How you feeling, Will? I'm good. He's out the boot, y'all. Uh, last time you probably had the boot on. Probably had to take the. I'm pretty sure you had to take the boot off when yeah, you came in. Yeah, it's been a fast hill since then. It's been a real fast hill. We just went hiking. Yeah, five miles. We went hiking, and this man was hiking through, doing trails, climbing. Hey, okay. not to get off topic of the podcast, but we about died, bro. We did. Our kids didn't. Our kids did not. But us coming up this incline, I really like the kids were gone. My wife was gone. Yeah. Four-year-old, gone. We were struggling. We were seeing other people look at us, and we were like, y'all see them kids? And they were like, oh, they passed here a long time yeah, ago. they were running. <laughs> I don't think I've ever really felt my age until that moment. Like, yeah. that's That was rough. Mm -hmm. It was fun, though. Oh, I had a blast. I'm ready yeah. to go again. Yeah, yeah, me too. I was already over looking up all trails. and. Hell yeah. That was a good time. But, yep. but anyway, y'all. We're back. So, uh... Thank you, man. Thank you guys so much for the support on TikTok recently. We've been getting a lot of action. We had one video of just Will talking mm -hmm. about how hard NES games are. And I mean, it, it went, I, I want to call it mini viral yeah. because it, it didn't get like a million views or anything, but it definitely got over, right now it's like 240,000 or something. Yeah, it was I actually haven't checked. Viral. Yeah, I haven't checked in a while. A lot of comments, man. We should, you know what? We should also read the comments from that because people were talking about how hard NES yeah. games were on there. So that'd be and a lot of new age games that were difficult. Yeah, man. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Go follow the TikTok. Go follow the Instagram. You can um, uh, email us at superretropod at gmail if you want to uh, contribute to the show. But man, let's get right into this thing, y'all. The top five hardest NES games, in our opinion. Yeah, not games we don't play or haven't played. Yeah, so or... don't don't be in the comments. Don't talk to us about. Oh man, that game. These are our opinions. These are yeah. what we grew up with. We know there's harder games. You know, and also I was thinking when I was uh, putting this my list together, these games were so hard back in the day that they have made us absolute savages when it comes to playing new games yeah dude i could pick up any new game with the i'm sure there's some exceptions there's hard games now. there's definitely hard games yeah. but in general we've talked yeah. about our what our kids play i mean i pick those games and i'm just like oh my god this yeah. is the easiest thing i've ever played in my life and just I'm like not... boom 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 like my, my sons will be down here playing and the, i can hear them the begging me to come down here and get past the part yeah never seen the game never heard of the game i'll grab the remote and be like there you go yeah that's I get funny. past the part for him. You yeah, know, I, it is true. That has conditioned us to just being good at these new games. Yeah, for sure. They were so hard. It just like ruined us. And like back when I, we were kids, like our collection now is pretty crazy. You know what I mean? Like back when I was a kid, I didn't have a lot of games to judge. Like, you know, so when people are saying what hard game. Right. I didn't have that game. No. Like back then I only had, what, 15 games maybe? Uh, Tops. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ten. If like you had 15 games in back 80s, in the day, yeah. you had the biggest collection in the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I had probably 15, 20 games, and people thought I was like the coolest dude ever. Yeah, he's rich. I know. Like back <laughs> then, and now, what are we like? Almost what? 200? 200, 200 yeah. NES games. 200 NES games. And like, we're living our Tons childhood Tons of other now. shit. Yeah. Like, this is what we wanted when we were ch children. Oh, yeah. I, I, know, I see that all the time. Kids from the 80s. Now, like back then, we couldn't, I, I didn't get to play all these games that people were talking about were the hardest game. Right. You know, my list was all the games that were really like popular. And and also, like, I. Like every game, every game on our list were popular games. For sure. You know what I mean? For sure. And and that that's another thing. Every game on my list, most of them are some of my favorite games. Yeah. Me too. But they just so happen to be Hard. the hardest games. Yeah. You know, and going back and playing them, which I, I I did a few today, it's trying to prepare, and the other ones I've been playing. Because, like, back in the day when you rented a hard game, mm -hmm. you think I'm going to fucking rent that game again? <laughs> no. I'm immediately taking it back and being like, well, let's, fuck, let's pick another game. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, let me see if I got any notes before we hop right into our actual games. I do have some shout outs. I, I want to get them off at the beginning. A lot of people do the shout outs at the end. Uh, I want to shout out Joshua Broom. 
he is a avid supporter of everything we do. I see the man constantly yeah. sharing our stuff. I'm pretty sure we've shouted him out before, but if not, man, hey, we appreciate all the support you give to the show, man. Keep doing that. Um, if we ever get some shirts or hats or something made, we'll be sure to send you one, man, for sure. But you got to remind me because I absolutely will forget. Shout out to What the Lou. We shout him out a lot because awesome he keeps he's fueling our collection right now. Yeah. Grab that real quick. Well, bro. our addiction, you mean? Yeah, our addiction. Our, yeah, collection. Addiction, not to be confused with collection. It's like he knows two addicts when he yeah. gets stuff in his shop. So check this out. A Game Boy from 1989 in a box in mint condition. Yeah, mint's way too good. I mean, I should be touching this with a glove. I, I'm putting fingerprints all over it right now, and I don't feel good about it. But I, I just we had, had to, to have it. Had, we had to have it. Had to show it to you. Shout out to Chris at What the Lou, man. This is real dope. This is we got a bunch of dope shit from you recently. Yeah, in the last few months. We'll but be this making a right video here, soon about. Yeah, that. we're gonna make a video about everything that we've been adding to the collection. But this is one we had to showcase. Sit yeah. it back over there. Be careful. Don't hurt him. And I want to give another shout out to Drew Harold, which is a um, a work associate of mine. He donated a ton of games and figures and. He, some GameCube games. Yeah, you might be able to see them. Up Probably on this. not. I doubt it. Uh, oh, right here. Yeah. Here's some right here. GameCube games, Xbox games, Wii games. He donated on DVD the whole whole Office series. You know, it's so it's, cool when we get like I stuff love to add to our collection. I love just it. Just donated. Yeah, I love it so much. I, I just we we added into the collection. It just keeps growing and growing. So shout out to Drew Harold. We appreciate that. Before we hop into our top our top five games. Why do you think they were so hard? Mm, I think remember that thread we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm gonna a talk lot of about... those people were talking like because back then they when those games came out, they made them for you to play for a long mm -hmm. time. You know, there wasn't. They didn't want you to go to. I've heard two reasons. First, they were still modeling them after the arcade model. Yeah. And they, you know, the arcade model, what was the pump arcade quarters, model? Pump quarters, pump quarters, pump quarters. You die, put another quarter in. Yeah. They wanted you to just made it so hard that you would die. They tried to find the right balance of... Like, if you put one quarter in and beat it, yeah. what are you going to do? Exactly. Why are you going to come back? For yeah. sure. So, yeah, they had to make their money yeah. on the games, but it also had to be the right level of fun. Yeah. So they had to toe that line. Yep. Um, and, like, when they went to consoles, uh, like, you don't want someone to be done with your game like you get it at christmas you know they, I mean? they, they don't, don't want you to go to blockbuster back in the day rent the game beat it in a weekend or in the two to three yeah, days however too. long and then bring it back and then you're done yep. like that does nothing for the the company selling the games nope. they needed longevity and like games today it's all about your uh, how many hours of gameplay have you put into this game like it'll that's something that tracks like on pcs mm -hmm. like it'll track how long you've played this game back then think of what if that would have came how long you played zelda like oh, you know Lord. what i mean like what would it say so how you want to do this uh i'll go one you go one that's what i was thinking okay so i'll start okay well a couple of three of them are the same that's so fine we'll, so yeah. when we start just let me know yeah when I one i say is on your list and then we'll just both all right all right y'all here, here we go let's no get into particular it. order right now right in no particular order we're gonna pick We'll try to pick at the end which is the most difficult, maybe one or two of the most difficult out of the five that we have, uh, which I do have more than five. I have, I have a few honorable mentions. I have one honorable, and but, it has a condition to it. Okay. All right, cool. Here we go, y'all. Top five hardest NES games. This is mine and Will's personal opinions. This is our experience yeah. with these games. Top five hardest NES games. Here we go. Let's get right to it. Ghosts and Goblins. This fucking game right here. It's so hard. It's so fun. It, it's like that cover. I love, dude. I, I love everything about this game. I, I used really to give do. Me good feelings when I had that game. This, I'm, I'm about ninety five percent sure this is the first NES game that I ever played, even before Mario. Because a friend of mine, this came out in eighty six. Yeah. This game came out early, yep. dude. And um, my my buddy had it. You know, when I when I first was introduced to the NES, he was playing this. So naturally, I walk in, I start playing it. Such cool sounds. Such the way it looks. Dude. That first board with the with the graves mm -hmm. and the. It's it, so classic. The sound, the the, the soundtrack, everything. It, it is. I mean, it, it. I was playing it today. 
It's hard as fuck. Yeah, it's hard. It's so hard, dude. You cannot time the the timing of it as far as because you know, it's no secret that NES games, a lot of them, fighting or where you there's enemies and they're trying to get you is a lot of it's about timing. Yeah, you have to time. It's them. a pattern. The every pattern. game's a pattern. That's what I meant. That's what I was trying to say. A pattern. Yeah. It's so hard to get the pattern down. Yeah, when on you're some a of these kid, guys. it's just like you, it doesn't compute to your kid brain, bro. God, the game is brutal. The most annoying part about the game, all right, when you're playing, you're you're this little knight, you know, and you you throw these. What do you even call those things? Javelins or some yeah, shit? Yeah, something. What, spears. Spears or whatever the hell it is. Whatever you're it throwing. Might be javelin. It might be. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, because isn't that what that's called when you're... Jousting. Jousting. It's like a yeah. joust stick. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is. It's so hard, man, because um, c- you're running in this armor. If you get hit one time, armor's you lose go- your armor. Armor's gone. And you're naked. Yeah. You got, like, your boxers Good on. Good luck. You got your boxers on. But here's the most annoying part. Sprinkled everywhere are little armors. Yeah. But when you get them... You what, don't get armor. You don't get armor. You get points. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is that? Every kid, when you first got that first armor, you're like, yes, no, didn't get armor. Dude, when when I started playing it again a few years back, when there was that long gap of me being a kid and then yeah. picked it up, I was like, my game's broken. I was like, I'm getting armor and it's not giving it to yeah. me. Why would they make it armor and not give you armor? Yeah. Can you not help hook me up? No shit. It's like this game is so hard. Just let me get armor every now and no, then. You're fucked up, bro. You lost it. Um, <laughs> but that's on my list too. So knock. Oh, that. it is on yeah, your list. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I said I, that whole that whole armor rant I just did at the end. I said to the developers, please go fuck yourself for that, man. Yeah, that right. was rough, dude. Oh, and did you know this about it? If you actually beat it, or beat it, if you make it to the final boss and you beat him, you have to go all the way back to the beginning and beat it again. To get to the real final boss. Wow. What a dick. I thought you were going to say when you finally beat it, they gave you armor again. <laughs> <laughs> there was a little shiny armor suit. Yeah. yeah at the end, you put it on. So if you don't get the dagger, you know what I'm talking about? The oh, pew, yeah. pew, pew, Those are fun. Forget about it. Forget about it. And you get the stupid little fire. Terrible. That fire does nothing for yeah. you. What a fun game, though. But but the, but the spear or the little daggers, you, you got to have it. Yeah. It's there, like the spread gun on Contra. Yeah, there's no way to get to, to, to advance at all if you don't have that dagger. The dagger is crucial. The dagger is crucial. Yeah, we need to try to beat that. I know. We really should. We Maybe if like we have one time. game night. Yeah. We should rip it. I made it pretty far one time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we should just put work into it. I made it pretty fucking far. Because we don't do that anymore like we used to. Yeah, we should. We should really go in on it. Start knocking some of these hard ones out. Lastly, what I want to say... Is was was he smashing at the beginning? That looks like it. Is he smashing? And now everybody's probably like, "What are you talking about?" Start out, put put ghosts and goblins in. Okay, the man is sitting there. I mean, he does have his boxers on, but first of all, why is he naked at the beginning of the game with a chick sitting right there with him? Because that's the whole storyline. The devil shows up or whatever it is. The flying thing grabs a girl and takes off. But before he grabs a girl, they're sitting there chilling. He's all kicked back. Like he's like, yeah, he's, no. he's kicked back. He's got his, his boxers on. So some shit was going down. He gets up after the devil takes his girl and then throws his armor on real quick and the game starts. But I'll leave it to your imagination. What was yeah. actually happening? That's uh, that, there we go. That's one of them. Ghosts and goblins. All right. What you got? Uh, you might not have too much experience with this, but I'm sure you played it. Uh, Top Gun. Oh my God. Of yeah, course. It was I played so it. weird. There you go. Wait, there you go. Show it to the camera. Yeah. Top Gun. Hell yeah. Yeah. It was just a hard game for me when I played it because I played it a lot. And it seems like I was always just terrible at it. I had this game too. I played it a lot too. It seems like I was just not good at it. I'm pretty sure this is universally understood to be one of the hardest games on the NES. It's, if you look it up, it's on a lot of top 10. Yeah, I just, I just sucked at it, man. I put a lot of hours in. It was fun to play. And the movie back then was huge. So. Everybody liked I thought it was fun, too. A lot of people hate on it. Yeah, I mean, I, I like just being able to... Any flying game was fun. Pretty much almost impossible to land the plane. Yeah. And then you had to refuel in the air. Forget about it. Oh, yeah, it. that was so hard. I sucked at that. Yeah, me too. I sucked at all of it. I'm just, I basically I, sucked at the whole game. Yeah, I mean, I think I was it just was fun. too young. I haven't played it in a long time. I played it. Did you? I played it, and uh, I crashed like five times trying to land. I was just like, fuck this game. Yeah, I swear. I couldn't do it. But that was just one on my list. It's a quick one. All right. Let me see. Oh, man. Oh, I can't take it out. Yeah. Because it's actually in there. But, guy, look. How do you say it? 
How do you say it? Right, how do you say it? How do you say it? How do I say it? I say Ninja Gaiden. I you say, say Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden. So what? Who knows what's right? Just who knows? And when you're a kid, did you, there was no YouTube, so it's just like a word of mouth thing. Tomato, tomato, yeah, like Ninja the, Gaiden. Like my neighbor Ninja said, Gaiden. probably said Ninja Gaiden. So I just copied him. That's right. For the rest of my life, <laughs> I've you know heard I mean? this. I've heard this conversation before. Like I say from whatever the fuck I heard. Like you know, I couldn't go the first up, time you heard it. That's what I'm saying. I couldn't go anywhere and listen and be like, oh, I say it wrong. Right. You no, know, where it was, there was no somebody says Gaiden. There was nobody talking about yeah. you know, like on television. Yeah, 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 just, yeah. I so. couldn't. So I say Gaiden. Gaiden. You say Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden. I said yeah. Ninja Gaiden. I say Gaiden. Because me and my buddies, back yeah, when we were playing saying. it, that's what we said. It was Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> oh, shit. You say Gaiden? No, I say Gaiden. You say Gaiden. Gaiden. I think I say both. I think you might be right. I Gaiden? think it might be Gaiden. I guess we'll never know. Who's going to know? How I think we know? could look it up on YouTube right now. No, I'm saying like well, you can look it up now and see what it's really called. Okay. Because <laughs> yeah. I'll look it up. No, but, no. Uh, but that's a hard game, bro. That's I love this game, though. This is in one of my... So there's a top five shelf back here. This game is on the top five shelf for me. Yeah, that's I don't know a, where it, such a good game that it became a, like a franchise. It did become a franchise. And you know, I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on this, but I think it was the first game that had a story. Hmm. If you look, look, there's a story going on right mm-hmm. now back there. Who, who even? Oh, yeah, They're yeah, telling yeah. a story. I got you. There, there is something happening. I know Mario had one with the princess, but Not this had first like... One. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is like he gets shot. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? And then you know it's always known as a hard game. Yeah, it, yeah. Like because it came back. There's fucking Ninja Gaiden on uh, Xbox, like uh-huh. na- like recently, and mm-hmm. it's still awesome and hard as hell. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. They, they've always kept the hardness. I'd they're, like to play some new ones. Oh, bro, I bet they're really cool. It. I bet they're really yeah, cool. Super cool. So one of one of the things that dri- will drive you absolutely insane on there is when you get hit. It, you jump backwards. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? We should watch a speed run. Oh, I, you fucking sick. Oh, I'm sure it will. And um, so people are like, these people people beat these games in speed runs. We're like, we know. And what? What's we're we, not those dudes. <laughs> we're definitely not. We we just like to play the games. Yeah. We are not experts. Hell no. Um, one thing though that it's misleading. The first board, pretty easy. Pretty easy. You get to the boss. He's got this butcher knife. Yeah. He's in a bar. Like, going real slow. You just walk up, fuck him up real quick. Like, I'm beating this game. Oh, like, okay. All right, this is how we going to do it. It dramatically gets harder. <laughs> By the third board, you were playing the third board. That's where I made it. I made it to the third, three, two, you know. And oh, then, okay. And then when you beat that, when you, you know, how right before where you died, if you mm. would have made it, the boss is in there. He's so hard. The boss is so hard. I, I was reading, I was doing a little research on this. There's, Plenty of people who have never made it even to like the last couple boards, let alone the boss. I definitely know I haven't. I'm pretty sure that we made it one time, me and a couple of my friends, James and Anthony. Shout I would out have to, to them. see it uh, to know if I did it. Yeah, I think I did watch a speed run of this one. And when they got to it, it was like, like this just yeah, you'll, opening, uh, unlocking these doors. Sometimes you'll watch that shit and they'll see a, a like a trick or mm-hmm. a, some way to f- cheat the pattern. And you're like, oh, fuck. Okay. Been doing a, it wrong the I'm, whole time. I'm a dumbass. My whole life. Yeah. 30 years. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you got to make some long ass jumps too. Yeah. Well, the, the further it gets, I mean, you have a minute margin of error. I mean, air. you're like a fucking ninja. You have to run and run right you know on that I mean? edge, hit it, time it perfect, and yeah. Yeah. And you just latch onto the walls and back and yeah. forth. I love that shit. But one one thing that I noticed when I was playing this game today, actually, and I, I, I've known all of this, but I really started paying attention and putting it together. The enemies on here are so random. Listen to just the ones I encountered in the oh, first yeah. three boards. We had a demonic being that needed an exorcism with a cross that's like ugh, hunched yeah. over and is throwing crosses at you. Um, we had a boxer. There's a boxer. It's just like boxing you up, dog. Just then you got like a just GI G. Joe. You, you got GI Joes. Missiles. Well, no, look, you have an army guy just running. Reminds me of like Contra. Then you have a guy like a green beret, shooting. like shooting a machine gun yeah. at you. Then you have a uh, a greyhound dog. They just that like just, just comes out of nowhere and fucks you come up. Come up with <laughs> ideas <laughs> for enemies, guys. And then you have a dude in a football helmet with a with a bat. There's a guy with a football helmet. He just has a bat. He's just beating your shit. And then um, oh, a greaser with a knife that throws knives at you. 
You know what I'm talking about? He's got yeah. like a greaser jacket on, his hair slipped back, and Ooh, fucking he'll navies. do like this turn, turn around, be like, throw, throw daggers at you. No, no bad ideas in the villain categories. And then there's a pirate. That dude that killed you, yeah. he, he's a pirate. He's got like an eye patch on, has like a, a sword. That's hilarious. And another annoying thing about this game, and this is really a lot of NES games, is respawning. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? If you just go right out of the front, if you just walk a little bit too far to the right and come back, there's the guy you just like spent five minutes trying to kill yeah. respawns right in the same spot. And if spot. you just want to stay still, yeah. and you, they'll just keep coming. They kill just, one, keep, keep coming. There, keep there's coming. one spot on there where you they literally, the yeah. army guy will just keep, run at you for eternity if you don't yeah. move. You got to go. It's like you'll just keep sitting there cutting them. Cut, yeah. cut, cut. You got to go, bro. Yeah, you got to move. With all that said, all, all, all of the flaws... Still in my top five games. I don't know if it's just because of the uh, nostalgia that I have for it mm-hmm. or what. I, I, I love it. I love everything about it. I like the music. I like, I like it all. Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden. Whatever. whatever you want to call it. You got another one? Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Yeah, we had a whole episode on this one. I mean, I'm 44 years old and <laughs> I've still never beat Tyson. So I don't know if it's just a makeup in my DNA that I just cannot fucking beat him. So I know people out there can beat him, but you know, people were talking shit in the comments about how they beat him and all this. I like certain people were like uh, saying that they beat him and they were like, it's one of the highlights of my life. Right. Like they were still proud of it. Yeah. Top shelf moment in their life. But I mean, it's still a fun game to play. Like that's what the, some of them games are so hard. They're not that great to play. That's right. But like Tyson's Punch Out, you can still play and have fun. It really is. It's a, it's a classic. We yeah. know it. I mean, we did a whole episode on it. It's such a good. It's such a classic. Regardless if you can make it to Tyson or not, it, it almost doesn't even matter. Just the um, the journey trying to get to him. Yeah, it, it's, it's such a cool concept. It's of fun going through these boxers and their different patterns and yeah. trying to get to Tyson. I mean, it's one of the best games of all time. It is hundred percent for sure. So and, no- and it's one of the hardest to me. So I agree because I uh, as if you'll go to our channel, uh, our TikTok channel, or our Instagram yeah. channel and watch, I got absolutely washed by Bald Bull and, and King Hippo and King. No, that's what I meant. King, King Hippo. Hippo, King Hippos who washed me. Yeah. And then I couldn't even make it past Piston. No, what's a it was a Piston Honda. Piston yeah, Honda. the first Piston Honda. Yeah. So that's how bad I am. <laughs> but that was after not playing for a long no, time. No, you could so, get it. Uh, I'm sure I could. I'm sure I could. Yeah. And just playing with you. And taking your little advice, yeah. I mean, that really was. There's helpful. certain cheats you can do. I watched a guy, and I he, I learned shit that I didn't know. Yeah, you had a lot more experience with that game than I did. I mean, I played it a ton, but you like had real somehow experience. I remembered some yeah. of it. But that's still awesome. Definitely, definitely one of the top ones. All right, let's see. I'm gonna do this one because I'll let you get to one of the other ones that are on both of our list. Yeah, bro, the Simpsons Bart versus the Space Mutants. Did you play this that much? Not really, dude. This game. It's so hard. I might have had to rent it. Oh, my God. I definitely didn't own it. Here's the thing. I'm going to venture to say, and I'd like I'd like to hear from some people. I'm going to venture to say 90% of the people that played this game never saw the second board. Wow. That hard. That hard. Extremely hard. Um, I watched a walkthrough with, or a playthrough with it probably about a month ago. Bro, there's a whole ass game in here that no one had. I was reading the comments and people were like, "Never seen it. Never saw that. Wow, holy shit!" And the and the first board is so. It's just like ingrained in in a lot of us that I can't believe that there's other parts of this game. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tried so hard for so long. I remember I got this game. I, I begged for this game. I got it. Never made it past the first board. I definitely didn't own I'm it. A, I'm going to get you to play this yeah, and try to get it. past the first board. And you have to figure out what to do. You got to like spray paint everything that's purple red. Oh, I do remember that. But there's more than that after yeah. you do that. Not just that. You have to get rid of everything that's purple, not just spray paint it. Spray painting is one of the things. You have to shoot bottle rockets and shit and knock shit over to like cover it up. It is fucking hard, man. This game right here, I'm telling you. Man, um, like you said, just the lack of direction makes games hard, you know? Like another thing about Nintendo, you know? Yeah. They just and, didn't care to tell you what well, the fuck to do. Well, they would they would give you the booklet. Yeah. Sometimes the booklet would give you hints. Hints and tricks and tips of what you needed to do, but it wasn't enough. No. It was never enough. Bart versus Space Mutants, hard ass game. Still one of my favorite 
Look at the artwork. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's a good copy, too. The artwork is fantastic. I want a CIB of this one. I want a box for this one that is on the, let's say, top five of my personal list of CIBs that we don't have. Yeah, that'd be cool, man. It's a beautiful, beautiful art. This is... This is the one here. Contra. The original badass Contra. But I, I this is only on my list without the code. Right, well... With the code, it's an easy game. I, I beat it every time. Well, you're going to have to show me that because yeah. with the code, I can only make it to like the third fucking no, board. No, when I'm in my prime, the, I, I beat it easy. I can make it to the fourth board I remember beating with it the code. Many, that, that's, that's, that's now. I remember beating it many, many times with the code, with 30 men. If anyone's out there saying that they got three men... And beat and Contra? you beat it, you go fuck lie. yourself. You a goddamn lie. Like, that's hard. I mean, like we said, something like you could get your kids on there and give them 30 men and they'd be almost done with them by the first board. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the second board where you got to do that yeah, that yeah, weird depth of perception. The whole game and you're, you're, looking you're laying this way. down. Yeah, yeah. That, that your field of perception is off. It's like, what is going on yeah. here? But, like, um, man, I remember beating that. But, like, if I didn't have those 30 men, there's no chance I would... Like, I couldn't even tell you how long it would have took me to beat that game. And that's another one. Did you know on that one that if you play it with one player or two player, it doesn't make a difference as far mm -hmm. as how many enemies that Same you enemies. encounter? What the fuck is that? Yeah. They're is like, that you, not something you they... You might as well play two players. Don't even try to play one player because yeah. you're fucked. That's probably one of the... That game, when it came out, was probably one of the funnest two-player games to play. It's probably still all-time... To one of the best ever. Yeah. I mean, it's you like and your you buddies get to play with your buddy. working together. And you're like, don't leave me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, and that's another thing. If you, you can kill your man, yeah, your bro. friend. You better fucking go. If you don't go far yeah. enough, it'll stop you. You'll go to jump and you'll just hit They'll a wall. Be like, stop leaving down. me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you could beat Contra with three men, you're a savant or some shit. <laughs> what a hard game. Yeah, I, I, you're... I don't even know what you are. What a fun game, though! How all the different ways to shoot stuff, the the enemies at the end, mm -hmm. you get to the end of the board. I like all the different um, music would change. I like all the different. Oh, and that music at the that first board music. The is, guns. So yeah, I like cool. all the different guns. The spread. Like, like you've, you've got the laser gun. You're like fuck. Yeah, yeah. There's a few of them. That, yeah, if you got the spread, bro, watch out. And the bosses. Yeah, we're cool. Yeah, the aliens and shit. They were a yeah. lot of aliens. Alien shit, like weird tanks, and like it was such a fun, weird game. It was pretty. It was like you were in Vietnam, but it was in like the future in the like yeah. Predator. <laughs> yeah, it was like that's what it was. I bet it was based on that. Yeah, it yeah. was fucking. I like that game, man. Let me see. Yeah, if you look at the the cover, it looks like Alien. Yeah, there's aliens back there. It's like yep. some kind of weird alien. It's like the movie Alien, but with Arnold Schwarzenegger. But uh, <laughs> it's like it's like Rambo or yeah, some meets shit. Alien. What's that other platoon? Platoon meets yeah, it's Alien. Vietnam. It's 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 straight up. It's, oh, it's the Predator. Dude, dude this artwork did so much for you back in the day. You would look at this and just transform into the game. You yeah. know, you I like that. That's guys. still an expensive game. Oh, it really is. Yeah, yeah. it's it's like forty dollars just for the cartridge. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I like that some of these games are almost exact. Like they're almost more now than they were then. Oh, for you know sure. I mean? like we got some plenty of, the of them classics. Like All right, let's see. Okay, let's get right to it. I mean, this is what... Started us down this path? That's what got us... This started this whole thing with on the TikTok uh, video we had that kind of went mini viral. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The original Turtles. The original Turtles. This game, I mean, th this brings out a lot of emotions in people. This is the one that you played... This is the one that you played for a weekend, and then you put up, and you're like, fuck that game. Yeah, I'm, I'm not fucking with I'm it. I'm not playing that game anymore. That's as far as I got. The water board on here is infamous for just destroying people's souls. There's like electric... You have to swim through these little electric current, these little... Bzz, yeah. Bzz, and it's damn near impossible. I mean, if you want to talk about patterns and timing... That's it. It's never been more important on this. And another note I have about this game is... uh. You'll, you'll walk into like a building, you'll go into a building and then you'll look up, you can't get up there, but you'll see a pizza up there. Yeah. You have to go all the way through this hard ass board to get that, to get that pizza and you get fucked up along the way. Yeah. You lose more health, health than you gain when you get the pizza. Yeah. It happened so many times. Remember we yeah. went hard on it. Yeah. We went, we went hard on it. We I'm tried to good. really make an impact. It I'm is not as good as I used game. to be at that. Nah, man. And it's I, just, and what's crazy is like when those. 
those turtle games, like by the time I got halfway decent, the ne- the next turtle game came out. Which was and far I, better. And I never fucked with that again. Oh, it was so much better. You know what I mean? Our, our Turtles 2, the arcade yeah. game, like so much better. When the other Turtles games came out, I stopped playing the original. So Same. Like, it's not but, even on my list of favorites. But one thing that I noticed, yeah, mine either. One thing that I did notice, though, when we were playing it is, you know, instead of, like, the enemies being complex and you having to fight them, what they would do on there, and a reason why it's so hard, they would just throw... 30 enemies at you at the same time like the whole room would become crowded with enemies trying to get you and you just have to kill them all and that was yeah. that's what made it so difficult and then there'd be so many of them in there it would do the the infamous nintendo slowdown where it would start lagging oh yeah yeah you know what i'm talking about when it got overloaded yeah. the system was overloaded like, did i hit him they were pushing it too hard yeah. you know this game original turtles this started the whole conversation Terrible. the whole the hardest nes games and this is for me for will, this is definitely one of them, if not the definitely some probably some harder ones, but you know, this is up there, man. God, this was hard. I have no idea what happens past a waterboard. We'd have to watch a walkthrough. We'd have to watch a walk. I think I've made it back in the day, but I, I couldn't tell you. And I tried. It's, it's probably the, it's probably underwhelming. Did you have some more? What else you got? I think the only one we uh we both had battle toads, right? Yeah, battle toads. Here we go. Both had this. Both had battle toads. Battle Toads. So hard. The second board, it's got to be the longest board in history. We should try to play that later yeah, if we have I'm time. Down. That's such a that's a cool game. Like just came out and then just sort of disappeared. Well, this game right here, when this came out, this is I'm not sure when this came out in comparison to say like Mario Three, but when this game came out, I was like, holy shit, that looks good. Yeah. This is one of the games that really looked good, and you were like, damn, is that on? Yeah, especially on NES. Is that on the NES or Super Nintendo? I'm yeah. not sure. It, it, yeah, it the graphics really took a step up with this game. This is when they were really figuring stuff out. This mm-hmm. almost doesn't even feel like an NES game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, maybe we can just pop it in. And you'll see. I what love I'm the way NES like has that. It's such a good. I know. Like it, the it, way they. You can show them well. You can show NES games well, man. Uh. uh one of the main reasons why for me this was so hard is it, it, well that second board where you're you're holding on to these vines or whatever it is spider webs I'm not even sure what it is you're just swinging down this long tunnel but you're going down forever and ever and ever ever and ever and you're fighting you can cut each other's ropes and you can also at any point in the game the person you're playing with can can hit you and hurt you that makes it so hard because a lot of times you're just wilding out. Yeah, you don't know. Killing people and you're oh, sorry. cutting each other's vines and all this shit. So, yeah, yeah. but that's notoriously a hard game. Notoriously hard. This Battle Toads. I want to get Battle Toads Double Dragon. Me too. We don't have it. No. It's, it's, it's expensive, though. It's We've like not seen it in the wild yet. It's like $100. I know it. But we have to, we're going to have to get that one for the collection when we see it. I think we have one more. I'm mm-hmm. not really sure how you how many you've done. We haven't really been keep Since we both have some, it's hard yeah. to keep up. This game here, y'all, Friday the 13th, Jason. This game, I, I love this game. I know ha- have you played it a lot? Yeah, I've seen you play I remember playing it. I don't know why I like this game so much. I think it was probably just the time I spent playing it trying to beat Jason. I'm not going to say it's impossible, but I'm saying it's impossible. I definitely didn't beat it because I probably that's a game I probably rented. Yeah, I had this game. I begged for this game, and my God, it was so hard. And today... You playing it, I didn't play it today. I'm just saying, in you know, yeah, 2023, as an, adult. as an adult playing it, it's almost comical how bad some of the graphics are. <laughs> yeah, like this game sucks. How far along gaming has come, but I do have a soft spot for it. Just the counselors going around the camp yeah. and stuff. I don't know. It just felt cool, and it and still when, like, has a cool feeling to Jason it. Jason on screen, it just did something to you. Like you'd walk in the room. It's just the way you had to turn in the rooms. It's just so, yeah. oh, it's just so terrible. But as soon as you turn that corner, there he is. Yeah, when, and like the music they starts. Oh no! When you walk in the room, his music's playing. Yeah, yeah. So you know he's in there. You're just like, oh shit, he's in here somewhere, and then he just pops up yeah. out of nowhere. They no. use that fear against you in the game. Absolutely. Friday the Thirteenth, definitely one of the hardest games. All right, well, well, let's talk about. Well, I have one more that I didn't talk about, what? but I thought it was just too easy. It's like low hanging fruit. Uh, we don't need the game. It's 
We've what talked is it? About no, let's talk. Let's do our honorable mentions. It's Zelda. We, Zelda. We've yeah. talked about it. For, yeah, we did a whole episode. on I mean, to, for, to be honest, it might be harder than any game we listed. That's just for right. The simple fact that, like we talked about many times on there, that original Legend of Zelda, no one cared. Like they didn't tell you anything. You literally knew nothing unless your buddy knew it. How like hard? we did an episode on it. We did a whole episode yeah. on how like hard this it, game I knew is. people who played it for years. <laughs> I'm not yeah. the years. Yeah. And was like, I can't get, I can't even find this level. You know what I mean? Like you couldn't, <laughs> yeah. they didn't even care if you went to the right levels. Like yeah. you could have beat level three before you beat two. <laughs> like you got to go get fire and burn down every bush on every single Yeah, like they didn't part, care. And you got to find these stairs to go down there and get yeah, this you, raft, oh, bro. Oh, Sorry. Yeah, yeah. You don't have the raft. You can't get there. <laughs> you know what Find I mean? the raft. Yeah. Good luck. So, I mean, like back then you had to get a Nintendo Power magazine mm -hmm. to find out something or you might have had a buddy was like, dude, he he's at he fought Ganon. And mm -hmm. you're like, holy shit. <laughs> he was like a legend yeah, at like school. He fucking is on You board. had to like talk to him. So how'd you get there? Like, he's on level eight. Yeah. Ask him how he does this. Share secrets. Yeah, like in the back then, good luck. Like it was all about who you knew or what fucking, uh, if you could call a counselor. What was it like the? <laughs> the gaming counselor. Yeah, they, like, they charge then, you like $1.99 per minute. Yeah, yeah. So like back then, Zelda was super hard, man. I think I, I did... I did. Uh, I did have that one written down yeah. as an honorable That's like mention. An OG, just hard. it may be when you really step back and look at it. It was just such a good game that we all put in the time in our brains together and were able to beat it. Yeah, it probably is the hardest NES I mean, game. I, I would have. I would put that the game hours played for that yeah. is through the fucking roof. But I also think there was a lot more literature available on it you know that was nintendo one the, power did release a whole no, map of that it. was one of the first games that they were like well, we gotta help people yeah well, they're they're struggling out here we need a fucking map we need to tell them when something. they came when i first got that map i was like it's oh so, my god it's so fucking huge it's like i know where to go now it's but over yeah. here i didn't know it was over here yeah zelda i can go this way super fucking hard you know i saw a lot of people talking about castlevania being hard and while i will agree that it is hard i don't think it's one of the hardest games on the nes i don't think it to me it doesn't qualify as one of the hardest nes games because i played it recently and i'm a very amateur average nes player i just really like them uh, to play nes yeah but i'm an average player i made it really far yeah like when i sat down i was like all right i'm gonna see how far i can get in this i made it far so you're like well let's take this off the list in my opinion, that, that constitutes taking it off the list because, like I said, I'm an average player. I made it far into it. There are some annoying, the Medusa heads, those are hard to time. They get you. Yeah. You do kind of jump back when you get hit and fall off shit like Ninja, Gaiden. Overall, I don't think Castlevania is uh, that hard. Mega Man is notorious for being hard, but I haven't played it enough to really form an opinion on how hard it actually is. It is hard when I play it. It's yeah. hard, but... I don't know how hard it actually is. It, both of us were, neither one of us were Mega Man guys. No. Uh, I would say for me, another one would be Super Mario 2, just for the simple fact that it was so different. Because back then, when I was a kid, it was pretty hard. Yeah, it was I, hard. I do remember beating it myself. Right. So, I mean, it's not that hard. The difficulty, yeah, it's just hard because it was so different. It was a lot different, yeah. Marble Madness. That's fucking hard. That is a infuriating game. Yeah, I played it the other day and was like, I'll turn this off. Yeah. Fuck the, this game. There's so many games that I've just turned off. Yeah. That you'll play and you'll be like, well, I do not have the patience for that right yeah. now. This I can know. see the uh, difficulty and the enjoyment of playing Marble Madness. For but sure. fuck that game. But there's some games where the difficulty outweighs the enjoyment. Yeah, 100%. They're, they didn't... They didn't find it. But then again, there's people out there who really get off on that shit. Right. It's the challenge. That's their thing. Yeah. But it's I not, just get too mine. infuriated. Yeah. <laughs> That's another game I rented and took back. All right, man. Well, that that was our top five. Let's figure out if we have a, uh, what do you, what is out of your list, hmm. out of everything, even everything we discussed, which, which is the hardest for you? We talked about Contra, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Battletoads, Ninja Gaiden, Gaiden, Ghost and Goblins, Top Gun, Friday Thirteenth, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. For me, I got I got, I don't know, man. I'm gonna guess I'm gonna have to say Tyson, really, because I've, I've I can I've beat Zelda multiple times, mm -hmm. like as a child and as an adult. Mm -hmm. So you're going Tyson, yeah, because yeah, I still can't beat him. Like no one can coach me through it. I can get hints at Zelda and shit and and beat 
Gannon, but now I'm still getting my ass kicked by fucking Mike Tyson at 44 years old. My opinion, these are the two hardest games on the NES. Ghost and Goblins and Original Turtles. That's right. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghost and Goblins. The hardest on the NES. My opinion. Boom. All right, well, all right, I got a couple more little things that we want to get into here. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick... I'm going to pull out every single retro gaming controller oh, from yeah. back in the day, from from all the way from the NES up to PlayStation 1. I may get, I don't know which one came before what. It gets kind of gray in there with the, the Sega uh, Sega Dreamcast and like the Nintendo 64 area, PlayStation 1. I'm not sure who did what, but I'm going to pull them out in, in some kind of order. We spend just a couple seconds talking about it. Is that yeah, cool? I like it. You like that idea? Yeah. And then at the end of it, let's talk about our favorite one. Yeah. And, right. and why. All right. Let's go. You ready? Yep, I know mine. First. The OG. The OG. This may be the most iconic uh, gaming controller of all time. I, I, I'd venture to say it is. I mean, it's probably the most noticeable. I would say it's the toughest. Oh, the most durable. I tried to. Everyone I know tried to break the fuck of those in half. You cannot break this fucking thing. It is a brick. The fact that so many exist today and still work, dude, they is all amazing, work. bro. I've I've never seen one that doesn't work. And that is true. We got a lot of Nintendo's. There's around. a lot of them here. Uh, I mean, just just classic, sleek. You know, like you said, well durable. Made, bro. Like God damn. I mean, it, not much to it. Simple. You got an A button, a B button, start, select, up, down, left, right. This is beautiful. I've almost tattooed this thing on me a lot, but I had to get a little more original than that with my with my retro tattoos. Damn it, I want to. That's, I want to yeah. frame them. I want to I want to do a lot of things with the Nintendo controller, all right? The Super Nintendo controller. They gave you two more buttons. They did. Actually, no, they gave you four more buttons. You got these oh, yeah, and yeah, these. You get the and, and you know when these really came into play here? Obviously, with sports games, the extra buttons really made a difference. Mm -hmm. But nah, even more than that, when that Mortal Kombat dropped, oh yeah, and you you got these extra little buttons and combos. I mean, this this changed the game. Yeah, this is a beautiful and durable controller too. I mean, mm -hmm. this thing, they they use the same shit to make this one. There's a lot of these around, and they hold up well. These little buttons. These were the first time these were introduced. Look, yep. this is on everything now. Everything. Every controller now has these. Yep. So the 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 guy, the guy that said, hey, let's throw two buttons on the yeah. top. Look up here. Let's throw two buttons on the top. Because I mean, everyone has their fingers there anyway. Yeah, he, that I mean? that was a the impact that had on gaming was massive. One of my personal favorites. One of my personal favorites. Yeah, that's one of mine too. I just love the way this thing feels. It's bulky. The Sega Genesis controller. Looks like Batman or something. It's cool. You know, it has... That that Sega Genesis had like a, a mystique, like a newness about it. Yeah, and when you see this, I mean, it's super recognizable. You know exactly what it is. It had the A, B, and C button, uh, which, you know, this was a lot different than um, than the Sega Genesis... I'm, I'm sorry, which the Super Nintendo, which it was its competition. So it was weird that they opted... To not match the buttons. They just gave you one more they button. They just gave you one more button. And or no, one less button. For sure, like on the front, yeah. yeah, yeah. And nothing on the top. Not, yeah. But you know, they did They did come out with a uh, another controller later that had three more buttons at yeah. the bottom to, to keep up with the game. And games. they were like, you're not getting a select button. Yeah, no, you're just done. Boom, that's Start. all you get. But this one right here, this, man. Classic. When I was 11 years old on Christmas, I got a Sega Genesis. And man, this just brings up a lot of good memories. Yeah, it's a good, good controller. Good controller there. One of my, like I said, one of my favorites. I'm not gonna say it's my favorite of all time, but it's close. This thing here, the Nintendo 64 controller. I think Will has some strong feelings about this one. Yeah, I don't fuck with it. Will does not like this controller. Let me tell you why I like it. To me, this revolutionized shooting games because of this trigger right here. Yeah. No, there's some things that, that were trigger groundbreaking. That changed everything. A lot of things. I mean, this is the that first time. That was the first time. This right here, that now you know is like the little round toggles on all the things, you, all the controllers today. This was the first one. Yeah. This was the first one. This is, you know, the, just that combination right there. For me and all the 007 players out there, you know. You know what I'm doing. I mean, you're walking through the room. All you need is that. That's all you need. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. You can fuck the whole 
the whole city up. I hated bah, 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 bah. This was the first time you could change your view. You could look around. You could hold buttons and you hold, hold this button and do this and you just look everywhere. First time that shit happened. Yeah. Because it was everything was 3D. I just felt like you should. No, but no one held it this way. I know way. that's how I was wanting to. You hold wanted it. to hold it that way. And then they made me not hold it that way. I mean, I don't know if I ever even used this. A lot of times, this did what that did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You could you could do whatever you wanted, but then you couldn't shoot. I love this controller. It was a, it was a very risky move that changed the game. It was a huge redesign. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. From the from like the, they went from that. They went from the Super Nintendo controller to this. To me. I think they nailed it, but, no, but I've I'm, heard other people that don't like well, it. Well, it, they definitely didn't nail it, but they changed the way com- uh, controllers would be in the future. Yeah. Because now that is more like the controllers of the future than that is. Right. You know what I mean? This was like a prototype. Like, look at the Xbox controller. There's a lot of that in that. Right. This almost feels like a prototype that actually hit the market. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? They, they were just like, ah, fuck it. We're going to go with it. Yeah. Um, and the memory card in the... Yeah, the memory card in the back. Yep. Or the rumble pack. Yeah, yeah. In the back. The Sega Dreamcast. This thing is like a damn spaceship. I liked it, though. You know, it was cool. And look, it had the toggle. It Bro. had that toggle technology. It had these. These had a different feel to them. Like, feel those. No, I know. Like, when you were driving, you could drive, like, a, the taxi with them or something. Or this was, like, gas on the crazy taxi and this and was the, brake. The thing that killed me was the screen. The screen. It was Bro. the first one that had a screen. It had a screen on the controller. It's beautiful. And this was an upgrade to that. Mm-hmm. This. And the Dreamcast was the first system where you could play online. You could play people online on the Dreamcast. And like, you see where this is as opposed to that? Mm-hmm. That's where I want it. That's where it is today. Oh, is it? Oh, like yeah, on yeah. Every yeah. controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right here on your right, phone. Right, 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 right. It's not, I don't have to hold it down here mm-hmm. to have the, yeah. like, this changed the game. Right. A Sega Dreamcast controller, pr- pretty cool. You know, I don't have a ton of experience with Dreamcast, but Man, I did play it. Man, it was so it. fucking ahead of its time. Oh, it's so far ahead of its time. And our Dreamcast is back there. It's actually not working. I'm going to make it a goal to get that fake. Definitely played quite a bit of it, but, you know, probably have the least experience with the Dreamcast out of all of these that we're going to talk about. I played the shit out of it. Uh, two more. Two more. For me, this one, this is the one that revolutionized the whole shit. This... I could see that. This was the precursor to what came next. That next controller in this line, the PlayStation 1 controller. Yep. This was, can, their controller still looks like this today. Yeah. But it has the toggles on it. Yep. Now it has two toggles right here. Mm-hmm. Right? Yep. So this was, this, I'm telling you, this, a lot of, like, right there behind you. See that? Yep. That's it right there. It's, they still, they're still kind of shaped the same. Yeah. I love this controller. Super I, tough. I probably am most familiar with this controller as far as, you know, obviously the NES, you can't go wrong with that. It's just a couple buttons. But out of all the controllers that have all these buttons, for me, this is the easiest one for me to operate. Yeah, that's a great controller. Yeah, it really is. I mean, you got the four top buttons on top, and you have all of the... Uh, the buttons there and I like that they did their own thing with x triangle square and circle. right they were the, it's well marked it was really easy to learn you know how many times people have said x or a mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> yep and last but not least no this is the one i have the least the least um amount of experience with the nintendo gamecube controller you know it it kind of mimics like tell me feel that feel yeah, that no it's weird you know, I think it's a weird controller. Yeah, it I is. don't like it at all. No, me neither. I was playing with it the other day. Um, one of the games that we got donated, Charlie and the like Chocolate Factory. Like hitting this button's hard. Yeah, it just feels everything about it feels weird. I don't like these buttons here. Why is A so big? A's huge. The buttons over top of it are big. That one just doesn't click for me. No. And I don't know if it's the inexperience playing with it. Well, but yeah, GameCube pl- is a was like a risky endeavor also it sure was what's crazy uh, is now it's like the, the the games are cheese yeah everything about it is and they look good if you play the gamecube yeah. games they look really good they yeah. still hold up i mean i was playing a game the other day and i, I could have been playing it on the switch yeah you know there wasn't that much of a difference i didn't feel like there was anyway yeah so there we go now it's time to time to announce our top controllers yeah. out of all of the ones we just discussed which one for, for me? You, for you, and I'll I'm, pick it up handy. I'm definitely picking uh, Dreamcast, man. Wow. I didn't realize you had... Uh, yeah, bro. I used to love this. I didn't... I didn't the fact that I could look at stuff on here and about the game I'm playing mm-hmm. was awesome to me. Interesting. Yeah. I, I didn't think you would pick that one. Yeah, this was... 
this is a gr awesome controller for me. Well, it's my turn. This is kind of hard. Um, I'm going to have to say... Uh, I already know. No, you don't. He's picking up that green motherfucker. So, it, it pains me to say that this isn't my my number one, but it, it, it'll it always be number one in my heart. Okay? Yeah, not for real. For sure. I mean, the, the, this was everything. However... When I think of gaming in general and, and 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 groundbreaking for me, it was the Nintendo 64 controller. It may be ugly as all hell, but and there's the, like so many different colors. The functionality of it is still in gaming today, and there were so many firsts for this. That trigger was special. You know, now they have triggers on a lot of them. I guess have them on, does Xbox have it on both sides? Mm -hmm. has, does it? And then uh, yeah. Every everything 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 has that, and this was the first one. Yep. No, and, actually, it wasn't. And that. The, these were the these these could be. So, has there ever been another trigger? Because this already had these. The Super well, Nintendo now, already had these. Now the triggers are on each side. And on Xbox, you have triggers here and oh. two on the top. Oh, okay. All right. See, that's, I don't play that, Xbox. Yeah, that's there. That's there, and two triggers. Okay. Okay. So for me, it's the Nintendo sixty four. There's something about it. I like all the different colors. I like how how they're they're you know translucent. You can see through them. You know, those are the special ones. I just really like this controller, y'all. I hate it so much that on my sixty four, I got a. <laughs> Uh, the new age controller. I knew, I knew it. All right, man. Let's hop into our lightning round of nostalgia. We're gonna do the same thing we just did with a couple. I don't know how many Will has. One or two. I have. I have. I have two. So I'm gonna start. Yeah, All right. Yeah. This is like I said. This is our lightning round of nostalgia. We say one. We say a couple things. We give instant reaction. We say I'm gonna give Will just like five seconds to talk about it. GI Joe. Oh damn. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Well, now you gotta talk about it. Uh, GI Joe, bro. I had I had them all. I used to watch the cartoon. I loved every little. I used to like collecting them, but I'd cut the thing on the back out where it, it even mm -hmm. had like a pr cutted. Yeah, we saw them. Yeah, yeah. In the bags, there so, people sell them in the bags with the little cutout. So I would cut. I would buy mine because on the back it would show all your other ones you can get. Mm -hmm. So I would cut it out and put it in like a little stack. Mm -hmm. of, like, all right, I got Destro. All right, I got Storm Shadow. For sure. All right, and Snake Eyes was my favorite. Like I wish Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow were my favorite two GI Joe. I love the Tiger. When oh he, yeah, sick. I, I want Castle Gray Skull. If it wasn't so big, because there's nowhere to really put something We've that big. Had down a chance him. to buy that. I know. Time. We saw it a couple times. Yeah. I loved it. I had it. Did you remember the ones where you would hit them in the chest and their chest would turn and get yeah. damage on their chest? 100%. They would fight. You hit it, hit them in the chest. It would spin and yeah. be a little more dinged up. Spin again and be all dinged up. Yeah. Yeah, That's I funny. love that shit. All right. Um, well, I guess that was yours. Did yeah. you have another one? I mean, I was going to say, and I had another gaming or stuff like that was Mask. I don't think, I think I showed it to you on eBay. You did show it to me, yeah. To me, that was that was super cool. And I had them all up until recently, but like they came with vehicles. What do you mean you had them all? I had them in my house. You sold them? No, they got destroyed. Like, oh, in what? Like the, when the house got like thrown away oh you threw more yeah. no the house they they tore it all down oh oh yeah yeah, yeah the, the other... shit got yeah just yeah. thrown away in a dumpster somewhere okay i thought you were saying no i had them no, no no i'm saying like those vehicles that they came with were mm -hmm. so cool yeah of them it's it's m dot a dot yeah i know what it is i yeah. remember you showing me it's a cartoon yeah, yeah. and it was super cool oh and did we talk about the gi joe cartoon yeah, that we was were so talking about G.I. Joe's. That the G.I. Joe bro. cartoon was everything, bro. You come home and watch the G.I. Joe. It was the shit. Fire. It hit perfect. All right. Uh, last but not least, Game Boy. Oh, trash. <laughs> Straight trash, bro. <laughs> I remember never being more excited to play a Game Boy. And like, I was just like, oh, I could play this on the road when I'm on the bus. or And mm -hmm. I played it, and I was just like, Ugh. Yeah. So, that was a letdown. So not fun. I remember playing it at Toys R Us. Like, oh shit, hell yeah! I've been waiting for this moment. They had like a Game Boy kiosk. Terrible. Played it and was just like, damn, that's terrible. Damn. You just made Mario suck. But you know what? It did. It was all right because up until that point, the only handheld games you had were those little like no, yeah, Tyco Tengen. What was it called? Those. You would you would play it? Yeah, Tengen. Yeah, you would play it. I love those games. They were it, terrible too, though. And it would just be like a guy running and jumping, and terrible. Be, you could almost see the graphics in the background. I remember playing just the light game. would light up. Yep. Yeah, 
Yeah. But uh, like we said earlier about, I want to say shout out to Game Boy. They are the reason we have a Nintendo Switch today. Innovation, innovative. Yeah. Dog. Like somebody they, the, dared to do it. The and technology, here we are. the graphics were so bad they couldn't catch up with the idea. Mm-hmm. But they knew somebody's gonna be playing a game in their fucking hands. Yeah. And look at switches. What They're I think amazing. What I think is wild is that they put it out and said, you know what? There's no light. Just, you got to be in a bright ass room. Good luck. Yeah, you need to it's put fucking dark. Play next to a lamp. Yeah. That's I'm sorry. Play next to a lamp. You might not be able to see the screen. Adjust the brightness. Turn it all the way up. Yeah. <laughs> they even made like an, uh, lights for later. Then you had to get the little light and plug yeah. it in and turn it down on it. Yeah. It was a Game Boy light. Not only that, not only did they sell the lights, but they also sold the little magnifying glasses. Yep. You'd put over and it would make the screen bigger. You know, what the fuck? It was so bad, but you know what? Tetris did hold up on it. You can play Tetris on it and, it, you know, get kind of the feeling. Man. But I, I, the one over there came with, I, I bought Animaniacs just to buy a game. Bro, it is so hard to play and see. Yeah. It's trash. Yeah, I, I mean, it's not a good, it's, you can uh, get those new ones, the Game Boy Advances and get new screens and shit. Those are cool. That's it, y'all. That's the show. Top five hardest NES games. The We we uh, reviewed, short review of all the retro gaming controllers. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we, we enjoy you guys watching, man. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, DustinHooker502. We'll walk to. We'll walk to. You can follow Super Retro Pod or Super Retro Podcast on any of the social media basically go follow our youtube we really need people on our youtube and page our TikTok. and our tiktok and our instagram we put all this stuff on all the all, every online medium that that is out there is pretty much there we want you to watch the whole episodes on on um on youtube you can listen on spotify apple Podcasts, all that stuff but if you want to watch uh you can go to youtube or you can just catch our reels and stuff like that on tiktok uh super retro pod at gmail send us an email with some ideas and we'll be uh, posting some uh some cool super nintendo box cid oh, yeah. videos yeah. soon we're gonna give a collection update because as a lot of you know we do have a pretty big collection that's constantly growing yeah, we're, we're usually yeah. been uh on our pursuit to get yeah. nes games but yeah. It's been sidetracked lately. For- yeah, it's when you get into collecting stuff, you know, all the associated stuff that goes along with it, it, it kind of piques your interest and sidetracks you, and you're like, oh shit, I want that too. Yeah, well, now there's our, a lot of shit we want. Yeah, and our Super Nintendo uh, collection has pretty much got way, mm-hmm. it pretty much tripled. It really has. I don't even know how many we have at this yeah. point. But yeah, hey, thanks for watching. Thank you. Um, until next time, hopefully we'll get one in sooner than later. Not make you wait as long. Peace. Later.